All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the next router to programmatically route the user to a page. Okay, so let's go ahead and first set up a couple pages. So I'll go inside the pages folder. I'll create a blogs.tsx file. Okay, let me go ahead and create a blogs page. All right, and we'll just return some JSX and let me go ahead and also export this as a default export. And I'll copy this and let me create another second page. I'll create a users.tsx page. And let me just change up the name, users page. All right, so now if I go to our app, I should be able to visit these two routes. So let's go to slash blogs and then slash users. They both work just fine. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and just add a couple more stuff in here. Let me go ahead and add an unordered list with a single list element. And this list element is going to have a blogs text in between. And we'll do the same for the blogs page, but we'll just change the text to users. Okay. So if we go back to the app on the users page, we're going to have this blogs, which is going to uh, allow us to navigate to the blogs page when we click on it. And then when we go to the blogs page, it'll do the same thing, but navigate us to users. So if we want to do this programmatically, instead of just having like a, an A tag, for example, and just like having it as a link, we can register an on-click event. So what we're going to do is let me go ahead and we'll start with the blogs page first. Let me copy this. And let me just return this. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the use router hook. Okay, so this is from the next router module. And what we can do is we can use this router to programmatically navigate the user to a page. So let's say, for example, when I click on this user's text, I can go ahead and register an on-click event. And what I'll do is I'll just simply call router.push and then the URL that we want to push the user to. So we'll push slash blogs and let's go ahead and try this out. So right now, let me go over to the users page. I'm going to click on blogs. Let me see, is it bringing me to the users? Or is it bringing me to the blogs page? Uh, let's see. Oh wait, I'm on the blogs page. Whoops. Okay, so we're on the users page right now. Wait, hold on. Wait, I'm a little bit confused. Wait, 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 wait what's going on? Okay, so on the blogs page, when we click on users, it navigates us to users. Okay, yeah, I'm on the wrong page. Sorry about that. Let me go to the blogs page. Oh, whoops. Okay, so on the blogs page, when we click on users, it navigates us to users. There we go. And you can see that it navigates us to the users page. Let's go back to the users page. Let's do the same exact thing. We got to use the use router hook. This will give us the router itself. And you can see that there's a bunch of different properties and methods that we can use. You can use the router hook to get the uh, the path name. You can also get the uh, the query parameters as well. If for some reason you need the query parameters or the uh, the path parameters. Okay, so when we click on blogs, this should navigate us to blogs from the users page. Sorry, I got a little bit confused earlier, but don't worry, we fixed it. Okay, so let's go back to the app. So if I click on blogs, it takes us to the blogs page. If I click on users, it takes us to users page. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it with the use router hook. There's obviously a lot of other use cases uh, that you can use the router for, but one of the common things that you'll do is programmatically route users whenever they click on uh, whenever they click on an element or a button or just based off of some kind of asynchronous event you might want to navigate them to the page so if you want more uh, examples or if you want to figure out what else you could do with the router I would highly recommend you visit the nextjs docs and look for the API reference and look for next router and they have Lots of documentation that explains to you every single property, every single function that you can call on the router instance. So definitely check it out.
So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.